Hello there. So today I would like to share with you a game I've been playing for a few years to practice minimal pairs, the minimal pair lottery. I first came across this game when I was teaching a pronunciation class to some university students. And all my students were uh, student teachers. So one week I had them demo some pronunciation activities that they could teach to young children. And one girl did this uh, lottery game. I don't know if she created it or got it off the internet somewhere, but I made my own version of it and I will share it with you today. So I mainly made this file as a way for me to learn how to create PDF forms, which I'm thinking I'll show how I did in another video. Anyway, if you open this file, the first page will be an example document which you are free to use, but the next two pages will be blank. And depending on your setting, you may or may not see some uh, spaces where you can input the words. They are there regardless. If they are not showing, just move your mouse over it and the cursor icon should appear and you can start typing. If you cannot, you are probably using an incompatible program. You should be using Adobe PDF or whatever it is, the equivalent on Mac, probably Adobe as well. Just use Adobe PDF and that should work fine. Anyway, on the example page, I have a list of 15 minimal pairs and I like to use a lot of nonsense words just to keep the students on their toes. But let's play one round together. So what you do is you read out six words and the students put the number of that word or they can write the whole word in the box for number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And make sure they use a pencil so you can play more than one round. Okay, so let's play one round. Number one, bun. Number two, pawn. Number three, vin. Number four, pen. Number five, ban. Number six, ben. Of course, to save your time, I read them out a little faster than I would have in class. Anyway, that is number one, bun, so you should have a 13. Number two, pawn, you should have written 11. Number three, vin, that is nine. Number four, pen. Number five, ban, that is a one. And number six, ben, that is four. And then at the bottom, I have bronze, silver, or gold for matching four, five, or six numbers. The students can give themselves one, two, or three stars. That's just extra for fun. Anyway, I think it's a fun game. I have two sheets that I can print out on one A4 paper. I've played this game with as young as third grade and I've played it with university students. So I'm sure it's good with any age and ability level as long as they have the attention span and can read well enough. Anyway, have fun, enjoy the game. Bye bye.